Hi, Vinyl Community, it's Maria. So I'm jumping on the thread, the insomnia thread, um, sleep disorder thread started by Mark Morris. Um, he, uh, I think he was part of the vinyl community and has come back. Uh, and last time he did a thread, not, I don't think anyone took part and there are a good number of us this time. So let's get started. This is thread about sleep, dreams, anything to do with sleep. So we're starting out with Billie Eilish. This is the uh, debut album. I think it was 2019. The name of it is Where Do We Go When We Sleep? Now, the, um, that line is mentioned in the song. I don't have my glasses. Hold on. Okay, so that line is mentioned in the song, Bury a Friend. And I'm going to tell you, this, this album won so many awards. I think it was best Grammy, uh, best album or album of the year 2020, um, best pop vocal album, uh, Bad Guy, which is the second song, is the, was the record of the year, song of the year. And Phineas, Billie Eilish's brother, uh, won a Grammy for Best Producer Non-Classical. And I'm going to tell you, I think I'm going to purge this album. Now, it's a really nice looking um, yellow disc. And I think I'm going to purge it because I've listened to it multiple times. And I just cannot, I just can't get into it. Um, it uh, There were seven singles off of it. The genre is like avant pop electro pop it um i cannot warm to it it uh so yeah when i start purge i'm gonna be doing a purge and billy eilish is gonna go with it oh so the next one um this is george gershwin his piano rolls or the piano rolls um these are the songs if you can see that so basically there's a song on here idle dreams now i think on the back it says i-d-o-l idle dreams but then it's also credited as idle i-d-l-e dreams and th this has no uh vocals but i read the lyrics and apparently it's like a pipe dream type of thing so um this i as you open it up and i never show the cds but it's sort of nice the um reading through just all the liner notes it tells you all about these are his piano rolls and it explains that um you know at a player piano you pump it pump the bellows to uh to uh power it and then it also um oh the piano rolls they have um perforations and those are the notes so you can do way more notes than like two hands can reach and even wide apart with piano rolls and then you pump it and it goes through this was a major form of entertainment according to what i've been reading and um because so basically in around 1927 the popularity of piano rolls um declined so uh gershwin continued he made uh discs i'm guessing I don't think he was making 78s, maybe 33s. And uh, he hosted a radio show. So he's trying to change with the times. And on this uh, disc, we've got um, Rhapsody in Blue, like all the ones that you, um, An American in Paris, uh, Novelette in Fourths, That Certain Feeling. So really, really good. Idle Dreams. Idle Dreams. Um, oh, the next one. So Eminem's double disc curtain call this came out in 2005 it's basically his greatest hits um let me show the gatefold and um it so basically greatest hits plus there were some singles on here when i'm gone shake that and then the bonus was him doing stan which is why i pulled this one stan uh I think it was a Grammy Grammy's uh, performance with Elton John. Elton John was singing Dido's part. And um, anyway, the reason I chose it because of Stan, it mentions sleep. Uh, 
I loved you, Slim. We could have been together. Think about it. You ruined it now. I hope you can't sleep and you dream about it. And when you dream, I hope you can't sleep and you scream about it. So yeah, that's the reference to sleep. It is, so I can, I literally remember the first time I heard Stan. It was 2000. I had just moved into a new apartment. I had my sleeping bag. I had some, a bookshelf with books and I had a clock radio to wake me. Uh, and, and so I tuned into the, uh, a radio station on the clock radio. I heard Stan. It was probably the clean version. This one isn't. And, um, I was hanging on every word. I mean, I wasn't doing anything, but just sitting by that clock radio, listening to the lyrics, listening to his words, um, while he was, uh, doing Stan. Well, in addition to, uh, you know, obviously he's, he's a great rapper, the word Stan is now in the OED, the Oxford English Dictionary. It's like a stalker fan. Um, and But you can say it like, you know, it, it doesn't have to be creepy stalker. You can say like, oh, I stan so-and-so. Um, I stan Billie Eilish, you know. <laughs> I'm learning I'm learning modern lingo. But it, it did make it to the Oxford English Dictionary. And... Um, Oh, and then so these are greatest hits right after Stan. They've got Lose Yourself, which is, you know, I can't listen to that song without dancing. And um, it's all this great stuff. Uh, my Name Is, uh, The Way I Am, which that's probably one of my least favorite. But um, really, really incredible double album of greatest hits by Eminem. Um, yeah, so he does reference sleep. Uh, okay, so the next one. I pulled this out because it's a compilation, and I thought uh, that the song um, Talking in Your Sleep by the Romantics was on here. Turns out, oh, and you probably can't read this. Turns out it is not. It's the Romantics, What I Like About You. But it's called Sedated in the 80s. It came out in 93. It's New Wave and... Um, uh, yeah, like New Wave, So and, and it's full of incredible songs, but it doesn't have that romantic song. What it does have is the smithereens behind the wall of sleep. So there's a sleep song. Oh, and let me show you. So really cute, really cute disc. Um, some of the things on here, um, you know, I Want to Be Sedated, Sedated in the 80s by uh, the Ramones, um, uh, they've got Lena Lovitch, Romeo Void, Mexican Radio by Wall of Voodoo. Uh, they've got some Go-Go's and Modern English. Um, let's see, Psychedelic Furs, uh, Flying Lizards, and the specials, Free Nelson Mandela. So in the um, liner notes, I'm reading, and it said the smithereens behind the wall of sleep was... Um, was on the 1983 Smithereens album, Beauty and Sadness. I was like, no, it's not. It's on this one. This is the Smithereens, especially for you. And you can see Behind the Wall of Sleep is on this one. And it was written for a member of, a, someone in the band had a crush on a member of the Bristols. So, um, yeah, so totally wrong in the liner notes about this being on the 83 Smithereens album when it's on the 86 one right there. Um, okay, so the next one having to do, oh, my feet are there, having to do with dreams and sleep. I think I'm, there we go. Having to do with dreams and sleep is one of my favorite albums. This is a desert island pick for me. It's the 1994 self-titled Weezer, uh, their debut. It uh, is popular or commonly known as the Blue Album because of the packaging. The last song, Only in Dreams. So it really, um, the, uh, so this, and it's, it, that last song is about eight minutes. It's the longest Weezer song. And I am listening to every single note until the end as it, as it, da, 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 like the last note, I'm hanging on it till the very end. So yeah, it's, it's basically, I think it's a love song about 
maybe uh, he, he can only see her in dreams or something, but I've brought it out because every out, every song on this record is incredible. There's a really neat insert, sort of looks like, so I love the song In My Garage. This sort of looks like the garage he's talking about or they're singing about and um, starts out with my name is Jonas. The, my favorite, uh, Surf Wax America. Um, like I said, I would, I would choose this for a desert island pick. It's just so incredible. Um, okay, so the next one, it doesn't have dream or sleep in the title, but on this, this is Bob Dylan's Nashville Skyline, 1969. It's a very country-esque album. The first song is uh, Girl from the North Country, and it's um, a duet with Johnny Cash, Girl from the North Country. Yeah, so on the back, Johnny Cash says a few words about Bob Dylan. So the song I picked from here that has to do with sleep and dreaming, Lay, Lady, Lay. So he's, he's you know, wants his lover to spend the night and lay, lady, lay, lay across my big brass bed. Stay, lady, stay, stay while the night is still ahead. I long to see you in the morning light. I long to reach for you in the night. So yeah, it's a sleep song wants her to stay so they can reach out to each other you know just have have company at night so you won't be lonely and um but i i did want to bring this out because it's one of my favorite dylan albums it's um you know so country-esque it's got stuff like a country pie um nashville skyline rag peggy day it's really good as a matter of fact lay lady lay is probably my least favorite song off of this album although it's it might be the most famous and so um yeah so that's a sleep song so um the next one i've shown this before this is another desert island pick for me stings the dream of the blue turtles so um the the police he was part of the police it's just you know reggae punk new wave reggae punk new wave and um so 83 they released their biggest record um uh synchronicity and um they had their biggest hit every breath you take they toured you know came out in 83 they toured to 84 broke up the police have only toured again one time from 2007 to 2008 i don't know why I slept on that one, but, um, anyway, the, uh, so this is Sting's first solo album and every song on here is incredible. Um, so dream of the blue turtles. That's why I showed it. So the songs on here, um, like love is the seventh wave. If you haven't seen that video, you know, uh, it's, it's children's drawings that are animated. Um, Songs like uh, Fortress Around Your Heart, which is what it ends on. Like every song on here is incredible. According to the, well, let me show the um, the inserts. The, um, well, so Sting says on the back, on either here or on the back of the album, that uh, this isn't a solo album because he had all these people helping him. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, Eddie... Oh my God, Eddie Grant. Um, who else is on here? Um, oh gosh, oh, Branford Marsalis. And anyway, the, um, oh, and then this is the, this is the record sleeve right there. Um, so basically, um, oh, so on here it says that the song uh, Moon Over Bourbon Street was written, um, in honor of like Anne Rice's Vampire Chronicles, which I loved. I read those. I read all of those. Um, but then even songs like We Work the Black Seam, that was a reference to the coal workers striking in Britain the year before this came out, which was 1985. And um, there are songs, I tried to show this last time I showed this song, but there's a song called Russians. It's really more about Soviets, but it's called Russians. And he even prints the music from Prokofiev, and I'm not sure if it'll show up right there. There's the actual music right there used in his song, and of course he references um, 
references to Khrushchev. He references Ronald Reagan, uh, Oppenheimer. You know, how can I save my little boy from Oppenheimer's deadly toy? And we hope the Russians love their children too, because it was during the Cold War and there was this fear of just nuclear annihilation. Such a great record. Every, every song on there is incredible. Fortress Around Your Heart. Um, uh, if you love somebody, set them free, stuff like that. But you got to see the uh, Love is the Seventh Wave video because it's it's just so children's drawings come to life and Sting just walking through children's drawings. Um, so the next one, I, I think I have more dream than sleep stuff. This one is actually called Dreamin'. I got it in 1979. It was, um, it's not KTEL, it's I&M Teleproducts. And um, so uh, there's also a song on it called Dreamin'. And it is Kenny Nolan's debut. And then I found out Kenny Nolan also, he co-wrote um, Lady Marmalade and... Um, that song has a sleep word in it, you know, voulez-vous voulez coucher avec moi ce soir. Coucher means to sleep. So yeah, so dreaming and sleep, I got those references in. This, um, it's got, uh, the Atlanta rhythm section, I'm so into you, I can't think of nothing else. I'm my, I'm hot up here still. Um, oh, uh, they, David Soul, who was in Starsky and Hutch at the time, he has um, Don't Give Up On Us. Uh, they have, um, oh, what's the one that I love? The um, Oh, well, All By Myself, Eric Carmen. Um, Do You Want to Make Love by Roger McCann. Right Time of the Night by Jennifer Warrens. I loved all these. I bought this in 79. I, um, oh, wow. I um, put cash in the mail like an idiot and... Um, they came to deliver it, and it was delivered COD, cash on delivery. My mother has no idea what's going on because I never told her. And I'm like, no, I put cash in the mail. So we filled out something that says, you know, that we have paid for it. Months and months and months passed. It finally showed up. I had given up all hope that that would come. And, you know, my mom was like, you know, cash isn't traceable. You shouldn't have put cash in there. And I was nine years old in 1979, so I didn't really know. But I was just so glad when it finally showed up because I'm like, oh, I saw the little commercial that shows like two or three bars of, a, of each song. And I'm like, here's the address. Here's the cash. There we go. And um, I, I was so glad when it was finally delivered because I was, I was crushed when they delivered it COD. And I'm like, no, I swear I paid for it. Okay, so the next... Uh, sleep or dream song. I have Cheap Tricks authorized authorized greatest hits. So uh, this came out in 2000 and it has the song Dream Police. So uh, Power Pop, Cheap Trick, it's got all the hits. It's got the first two are from Live at Budokan. Uh, oh God, the um, I Want You to Want Me and Ain't That a Shame. And uh, so Dream Police, the lyrics to that, and it's sort of creepy because it's about like people in your head, like monitoring your thoughts. So the Dream Police, they live inside of my head. The Dream Police, they come to me in my bed. And then later, uh, and when I fall asleep, bet they're spying on me tonight. I try to sleep, they're wide awake. So not a good dream, but it's almost like, you know, the thought police is the dream police inside of my head. So um, these, there are two clear discs. I won't pull them out. And um, one of the songs on here is from 1999, and it is um, that, that 70s song. So it's In the Street by Big Star covered by Cheap Trick, but they sort of changed it for the theme song to that 70s show. And this is the first time it was on a Cheap Trick album, uh, that 70s song. And um, so, yeah, the uh, pretty, oh, so of course it's got um, you know, Surrender, which is one of my favorites, Voices, Dream Police. 
So yeah, we've got this power pop, all the greatest songs from Cheap Trick, and yes, Dreams. Which leads me to the last one, Dreams by Gabor Sabo. This is an instrumental, well, it, yeah, it, um, he's on guitar. He's a famous Hungarian guitarist. And um, the art, this Art Deco design, which is gorgeous, is who did the Art Deco design? Um, oh, John Austin. So inside, I'm not going to pull. So it's, you know, here's the record. It also comes with, whoop, it comes with a little booklet that just tells you all about Gabor Sabo and how in Hungary on Armed Forces Radio, I think he heard um, American uh, jazz musicians and uh, so when he came to America, I, he it said in here he thought that everywhere people were listening to jazz because um, that's really all he had access to was the American Armed Forces. But uh, he, it said that some of these American jazz musicians, like they went viral before that was a thing because of the American Armed Forces radio. So this is an absolutely incredible record um, that he even covers a Donovan song on here. And um, the name, so it's Dreams is the name of the album. The song is Dreams. Where, oh, the list of the songs is down here. Is it right there? So he does cover a song from uh, Donovan. It is, where are you? Ferris Wheel. And then um, Galatia's Galatia Guitar, Half the Day is Night. The fortune teller. It's just really nice. It's called Dreams. I put it on before I go to bed just to, just as wind down music. So that's when, this was a fun thread. I, when I first heard about it, I'm like, do I, how much, like, how much do I have about sleep and dreams? And then I just kept pulling stuff. And it was, it was really fun. Check out Mark Morris's channel. And, um, Thanks for watching me. Sleep tight. Sleep. Sweet dream.